Hi everyone and welcome to Sacred Geometry Language of the Universe. My name is Seth and I'm here to share Sacred Geometry with the whole world. First of all, I would like to thank you for your subscriptions, for your comments, for your likes. It means a lot to me and then it encourages me to make more videos and share them with you guys. I would like also to announce that I just launched an online store with some fresh Sacred Geometry merch in there, link in the description below. So don't forget to pick up your merch. There's a variety of products, including t-shirts, stickers, mugs. I created each design myself with extra care and I charged it with positive energy for you all. So I hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to check it out and let's get to today's subject. Today, I'm going to address a subject that most of you probably have heard before. I have been intrigued by this since I was young and it is called the Fibonacci sequence. But first of all, let me introduce you to Fibonacci. Who is Fibonacci? Who is he? Fibonacci is also known as Leonardo Pisano or Leonardo of Pisa. He was one of the most renowned mathematicians of the Middle Ages. He grew up traveling North Africa with his father and learning about the Arabic mathematics and especially the Hindu Arabic numeral system, which we all use nowadays in the world from the zero to nine, which actually have replaced the Roman numeral system. Leonardo Bonacci or Leonardo Fi Bonacci simply translates from Italian to son of Bonacci. Fi as means son, the son of Bonacci. He wrote a book in the year 1202 called Liber Abaci or Abasi. I hope I'm saying it right, which translates to book of calculation. This book would eventually become a very important material for Western mathematics. Fibonacci, in his book Liber Abaci, introduced the Fibonacci sequence for the first time, although the sequence had been studied by Indian mathematicians as early as 200 BC. The Fibonacci sequence is used such that each number is the sum of the two preceding ones. So this is how it goes. 0, 1, so 1 plus 0 equals to 1. Then 1 plus 1, the preceding number, equals to 2. And then 2 plus 1 equals to 3. And then 3 plus 2, the preceding number, equals to 5. And then 5 plus 3, the preceding number, equals to 8. And then it goes to 13, 21, 34, 55, 89, 144, etc. Now, this Fibonacci sequence, why is it so important? What is special about it? Well, this sequence can be observed in nature all around. As you can see here in the screen, if you observe how flower petals grow, you can see that they grow following the Fibonacci sequence with for example, three petals, or five petals, or eight petals, or 13, or 21, or 34. It seems that nature just works in this way. It's like the code of nature itself. The Fibonacci sequence can also be observed in the separation of tree branches. The main trunk will grow until it creates a branch with two stems. Then one of the new stems forks into two while the other is dormant. This pattern keeps repeating while following exactly the Fibonacci sequence. This Fibonacci sequence or pattern can be also drawn using rectangles. So this rectangular way is the first geometric interpretation of the Fibonacci sequence. And here, this rectangle is what we call the golden rectangle. When we connect the points in a certain way with these arcs, like this, 
one after another. After we connect them, we get, as we can see, what we call the golden spiral. We can also represent it geometrically if we use triangles, not only rectangles. And this final triangle here is what we call the golden triangle. In the golden triangle, similarly to the golden rectangle, when we connect the points using these arcs, again, we get the golden spiral here as well. And here, I want to draw your attention. If we draw a straight line between the opposite corners, we get another variant of the golden spiral, which represents the male aspect of the spiral. So the straight lines here represent the male aspect of the golden spiral. And the swirly ones, the continuous ones, represents the female version or the female aspect. Of the spiral and this golden spiral can be observed everywhere in nature here is one of my favorite shapes in nature the nautilus shell follows beautifully the golden spiral truly fascinating here you can see in galaxies forming the golden spiral you can see flowers and many other shapes formed by nature. But why the use of the word golden? Why do we say golden spiral, golden rectangle, golden triangle, and so on and so forth? Thank you again for your subscriptions, for your likes, for your comments. It means a lot to me. Again, don't forget to pick up your merch at the online store. There is products with the Fibonacci sequence there. Go check it out. Thank you again for your subscription, for your likes and comments. It means a lot to me and I will see you in the next episode.